So you may have noticed a trend in the smartphone camera world in recent years with what some people are calling the megapixel race. That is the race to continuously one up the competition by offering bigger and better specs when it comes to the smartphone camera world, offering bigger sensors with more pixels. Actually, when it comes to smartphone cameras, two things are happening right now. First is that smartphone camera sensors are just getting bigger on average. And with bigger sensors comes two options. You can either keep each pixel the same size and therefore have to offer more pixels on a larger sensor. Or if you want to keep the same amount of pixels with a bigger sensor, you'd have to make each one larger. There is a third option though, to have basically the best of both worlds with something called pixel binning. I'm sure we all know about pixel binning by now, especially if you use an Android phone, the chances are, that it will have a main sensor at least that does use some sort of pixel binning. But for the uninitiated, it's when you take a number of pixels and turn them into one larger pixel. So usually you take four smaller pixels and turn them into one bigger pixel. The benefit of this in theory anyway, is that you get the best of both worlds. So you can shoot with a high resolution if you want, but usually you shoot with a lower resolution, but slightly bigger pixels, which theoretically anyway, should gather more information and give slightly better colors and dynamic range overall. Samsung are pushing this technology to the absolute limit. As we see the Galaxy S20 Ultra uses a brand new 108 megapixel image sensor. They use something that they've called non-acel technology, which actually turns a grid of three by three pixels, so nine pixels into one instead of the usual four to one. If you shoot 108 megapixel images, you can zoom into them or recompose the image after you take the shot. And we do also need higher megapixel image sensors if we want to continue with high resolution video, like 8K for example. But if you thought 100 megapixels was madness, and it is, it's not stopping there. A rumor today is that Samsung are actually working on their next generation of this type of sensor, which could top out at a ridiculous 150 megapixels. This would absolutely batter any existing records that we have when it comes to smartphone image sensor resolution. If we assume that Samsung would be using their non acel technology on this image sensor, that means that normally it would output 16 megapixel images. But in high megapixel mode, it would take 150 megapixel images, which is an absolutely insane resolution. It would create a massive file size and actually would rival pretty much any image sensor, even from incredibly expensive medium format cameras that can literally cost tens of thousands of dollars. The reason why Samsung are so hell bent on doing this is kind of unclear, but it does sort of feed on from their current trajectory. Other information about the sensor suggests that it will grow too and could even top out at a one inch there or thereabouts size, which for a smartphone is absolutely huge. As a point of reference, the best point and shoot cameras from both Sony and Canon do use one inch sensors too, and they can produce absolutely incredible images but the benefit that they have is that they have very expensive large lenses on top of those image sensors. And that's just something you can't do with a smartphone. It's certainly a huge step if it does come about and I do kind of applaud Samsung for at least pushing boundaries when it comes to this. If it follows the same timeline as the 108 megapixel image sensor did last year, then Xiaomi could be using this sensor first in a different sort of phone. They did that with their slightly modified version, the HMX, which is also in the Mi 10 series. And according to Ice Universe, possibly Oppo and Vivo also looking at this image sensor to put it in some of their phones. Following on from that, this could potentially go into a Galaxy S21 Ultra, the top end model, and replace the 108 megapixel image sensor that that currently uses. That is even if an S21 Ultra will exist, all of this is speculation right now. And this in itself is still a rumor and not an official announcement by Samsung. But Samsung are obviously going full throttle with this high megapixel and high pixel binning ratio type of image sensor. And who knows, in years to come, we could even top out at above 200 megapixels. The current Snapdragon 865 can support those image sensors even right now, but there will eventually be a limit just because of the size and thickness of smartphones literally not being able to get any bigger. But when that will come, your guess is as good as mine. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.